he became a symbol of Cambodia's years of senseless slaughter. Kang Ek Yu, better known as Comrade Doik, oversaw the torture and killing of up to 16,000 men, women and children. This is where they were butchered, in an old secondary school, a sanctuary of learning transformed into a place of torture and death. Doik ran the regime's most notorious prison, codenamed S-21, a key part of the Khmer Rouge's killing machine from 1975 to 1979, when some 1.7 million people were killed. Sometimes it was his personal signature that sent the prisoners to their deaths. The prison has now been turned into a museum, and the photos stand as reminders of those who passed through here. After the regime fell, Doik disappeared for two decades, before a chance meeting with an Irish journalist finally led to his arrest in 1999. Years and years ago, I looked at this, his photograph in Tall Slang, and I'd seen it, and I thought, you know, if that was the one person I could talk to who could, was willing to tell the truth, then suddenly here I was, a few years later, actually listening to the words coming out of his mouth. It was a breakthrough. Ten years later, he would become the first senior Khmer Rouge figure to stand trial at the UN Back Tribunal for Cambodia. Although the court secured three convictions, including a life sentence for Doik, some critics accused the tribunal of delivering too little too late. But for many Cambodians, the hearings were a rare chance to better understand the minds behind one of the 20th century's worst horrors.